I would love to share with you a story, a, a conversation back and forth that I had with an individual who inquired, who reached out about getting started. That's not atypical. You know, there's a lot of normalcy in, uh, in responses like this. So folks could get a real pulse of, of what that looks and feels like and why our methods and how our methods um, are the way that they are and a behind the scenes take on some of those things. So I will share a story of this uh, woman who had reached out recently and she goes, I want to get quick results on something that fits my budget. To which I responded, great, what's your health and wellness budget? And she said, not a lot. She mentioned she has other financial obligations that need to take priority over that right now, but I need some help with my weight. And here was my response in a nutshell. Uh, I kindly let her know that with a low budget, this not being a priority, that we might not be the best fit. However, I am committed to helping her lose the weight and get started with some momentum. So I sent her a fat loss series video that I recorded, the seven to eight part series, and I said, following this advice alone, an individual lost over 100 pounds Next, I offered up some training locations in the area that might be more budget friendly in terms of maybe not coaching based facilities, maybe more access type facilities that could begin to help her implement her movement practice. To which she responded, can you just show me the payment plans you offer? To which I said, sure. With your goals of wanting to lose weight and speed is important to you, my prescription would be personal training three times a week and nutrition coaching. And that would range in the ballpark of approximately $800 to $1,100 a month. And I got back, thanks, that's not something I could do. To which I circled back and said, hey, no worries. I gave you the uh, above resources Use those, check them out, be well, and good luck on your journey. And the next day, the next morning, I got a message from her again. And she said, a friend of mine in Pennsylvania pays $125 a month. Why is your price so high? And I said, in my mind, good morning, how are you? <laughs> I shared with her that her friend is likely paying for a group membership or group classes at this gym in PA, and that is their rate. And I shared our group membership rates and how that comes after onboarding of three to five to eight potential one-on-one -on -one sessions with a coach. And I, and I shared this analogy with her. Why is McDonald's food so cheap compared to a fancy restaurant? because price is what you pay and value is what you get. And I ended with, you came to me saying that speed is of the essence, wanting fast weight loss and results. And the fastest path to that is one-on-one -on -one training and personalized nutrition coaching. Group classes will get you great results. They're just not gonna be as fast. And she said, I get the theory, However, she looks fabulous with whatever she's getting from that membership. And I paused at this point. I paused and I said, okay. I started to get a better lay of the land. And this woman can only see what she sees. She only knows what she knows and she can only experience what she experiences. She doesn't know what I know. And she wants change and she wants it fast, which I really no, at the core means she's unhappy somewhere. She's unhappy with something, her body, her health. I don't quite know yet. And I said, okay, after pausing and reflecting, I said, that's great. She's doing the work likely in and out of the gym because it's never just one thing. Training is the easy part. Nutrition is this bigger and much harder part for all of us. I said, if you'd like to talk about how to get started with our group classes, we could talk about what that route looks like instead. And 
the response I got was, I really don't need nutrition coaching. I've been eating healthy for over 40 years and I know my body well and I know the foods that I can and, and can't tolerate and I just need a good workout in a community setting to hold me accountable. And I am aware of my unhealthy eating patterns and my stress of major life changes that are contributing being the culprit. And within that, I saw maybe a, a shift in terms of, of reaching out. And I said, understood. Would you like to hear how our process works for that? To which he said, sure. And I find it very important to explain this process to people. So I said, before folks join our group environment, our group classes, we go through three five or eight personal training sessions first. And within those sessions, we teach and coach individuals through functional movement, through compound lifts, through movement patterns, through movements in general, to teach them how to move their body and get a better understanding of their own body and their current uh, fitness level, their current range of motion, which teaches, uh, gives us their ability of capacity or, or or lack of capacity. When we learn about their fitness and, and we gauge that throughout the session, we can better help tailor the sessions to come so they can get greater results. We're building relationship, a coach individual relationship where there's always feedback applied. And this process throughout those sessions helps safely bring a person up to a baseline level to comfortably and slowly enter classes. And I explained what those sessions cost and how we reassess after three sessions if more training is needed to go to five or to go to eight to help the individual with their comfort, with their safety, with their connecting of the dots, with their needs, if there were red flags that we found through the session, and it's different for everyone. I also shared at the end of onboarding, we share an agreement to uphold the values of the community and what those values mean, to be committed to show up and to do the basic things like signing in, being on time, show respect to your classmates, the equipment, your coaches, et cetera. And I said, if that sounds like we're a good fit, great. Let's talk about when we can set up your first session. And I said, if it doesn't, let's not waste each other's time or energy. I explained to her that I'm here to serve, here to help, and change people's lives. And to do that, people have to participate in their journey and be committed. And I said, let me know how that all lands for you. To which she was grateful. She said, thank you for this information. It makes sense. Let me see how I can make this happen. And I said, last nugget, because again, I'm here to serve. There's another CrossFit gym in the area. And I believe that they don't have an onboarding program that you can take a, a free class to see if you like it or not, to see what you feel. And I also believe that the rates might be a little bit less, I don't know. And I don't know what the experience is like. I've never taken a class there. I do know that the coaches are good people who care, especially Coach Nolan over there. So if economic economics or financials are a concern, maybe that could be a better fit and it could help you save money. Perhaps that's a route to inquire about too. And I gave them their name and I reminded her or re said that you, you said to me, movement practice in a good workout or having a good workout with a community to help hold you accountable. If this information helps and you do go there, I'm happy to have served you. And she said, I appreciate that. I serve as well, but on a vibrational level. What's your name? And I said, my name is Sean. And the conversation oh, to which she said, many blessings to you, Sean. And I started to see and feel a shift in her energy and very different from when we started. And I said to her, uh, thank you for serving others as well. And I, said, do you think inquiring with this other gym would be the, the logical and most ideal next step? And she said, I'm not sure. You know, the gym atmosphere is not really my thing. And I think it might help me jumpstart this. And I said, 
do you mean the, the gym atmosphere altogether in general? And she said, yes. And I said, well, what makes you feel that way? And she said, I don't know. I'd rather be outdoors. I said, okay, I understand. And I said, do you, I asked her this question, which I, uh, I had to clarify. I asked her, do you get more fulfillment from applying your fitness than actually training for it? And she didn't understand what I meant, so I clarified and I said, well, well, what that means to me is when we train in the gym, we train movements and training in general, we're training to look better, to feel better, and to have everyday life, everyday life tasks be easier. Health, you name it, the ripple effect. And I said applying fitness like hiking or swimming or biking or you know canoeing, tennis, things like that, we're using our fitness to further our health and we're, we're active in that role where one is training to reap those benefits and, and apply those and the other is actually applying those. And she goes, oh yeah, like uh, that, that's more my thing. And I said, okay, that makes more sense. I said, may I offer a suggestion? Would you op be open to that? And she said, yeah. And, uh, and that's where I presented to her the question of, well, what could that look like for me to explore a movement practice outside or activity practice outside that I could enjoy the process? You know, at a minimum level is that walking 30 to 60 minutes every day, rain or shine. And then beyond that is maybe three times a week, it's a good baseline to find things or a thing that I really enjoy. Tennis, swimming, hiking, biking, maybe a mixture of these things. And there's that component, which if that's where all my joy is and I really love that, maybe going down that road and exploring that could help me prevent going down the gym route and enlisting in finding a gym or a coach or coaches and not fully committing, not going, thinking it's not working, wasting my time and, and people's time and, and, and my money and, and eventually quitting and, and kind of having the sour taste about a gym experience when it's just maybe, like you said, it's not my thing. Or you could try it and love it. And I've seen that countless times too. I said the first one is on you. The second one is enlisting in help and committing and trusting the process. And she, you know, she shared that, you know, that really resonated and she went on to explain, you know, I've been and lived a healthy life my entire life. You know, I've, what, yoga, walking, hiking, biking, um, eating healthy. And then I moved upstate and my career changed and my eating habits changed and I'm, I've gotten off track and I don't feel comfortable in my own body. And to me, that was the moment that we really slid into the truth. All the other stuff before was surface, and she really opened up and encapsulated to me why she was reaching out. And it was beautiful, and I said, thank you, I really honor you in sharing that, and I appreciate your honesty. Because I love, I love the beneath the surface, I love the truth, you know? That's the reality. And I said to her, who would you need to become to lose the weight that you want and to feel comfortable in your body again? And she said, that's a good question. And her mind was thinking and she said, my life is completely different. I am completely different. I'm re re rediscovering myself all the time, which, to which I thought was beautiful. And I said, I love that. I said, maybe this is something to sit with and let marinate for you. <clears throat> it sounds like you know yourself really well and you know that biking and running and walking and these things work well for you and you've enjoyed them. Can you begin to commit to something like that again? Or if you're unable to do it on your own, maybe that's when you do need help. And I'd be happy to help or steer you in a direction that could be helpful. And you know what she said? I'm working towards those three private sessions with you. I'll be in touch, thanks again. I know I need the kickstart, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And I, I share all of that 
from the completely humbled place of narrative between two strangers of one with the real roots of I'm uncomfortable in my body and I've gotten off the beaten path of knowing myself and feeling healthy and being um, in my body and you know at the surface it's I want quick results I want them fast I want it cheap um, and you know zooming back out and you know there's so many layers I see this through protecting the community you know that mentality of I want it quick and I want like the the quick results the shakes the like get it off of me quick it's not sustainable and um, I've made the mistakes in the past of just quickly <laughs> referring out um, humble enough to it not be under my care if it's better suited that it serves in this individual to go to a neighboring gym even one who maybe doesn't like me or care for me or you know whatever may be um, as long as it's serving her it's serving her um, you know I'll make that call all the time you know to help to help her and you know maybe great comes out of that um, and, and there's so many gems to take away from this that for me for her and for you, the viewer, if you really uh, were present and listened, how important communication is, questions are. Um, you know, in the beginning, uh, it was like this Rubik's Cube, so to speak, of, of unpuzzling things. And, um, you know, even the way she, I felt she was coming at me with this, through obviously through text, this intense nature of, you know, what, what can what could feel like, um, uh, anger is not the right word, but um, I'll call it uh, curiously misunderstood is, is or not piecing these things together. Um, and I have this ethos of I'm here to help first. I'm here to serve. If that means with us and things line up and uh, you can be in our care and become part of our community and our culture um, and you're open to that and and it makes sense, I'd love that. And if it's not, I'm always gonna help an individual, whether it's, again, through some free resources, through a better suited um, you know, business or, or, or network, um, or even just, again, maybe some helpful advice. And um, you know, it's never what meets the eye sometimes. Well, I shouldn't be backed up that statement. That statement doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's not what meets the eye. And if we can humble ourselves to pause, there were moments where I was, things were touched on and I paused to not react so my best self could show up. And maybe this woman begins, I'll keep in contact with her. And if she does, I really look forward to serving her and to helping her the best way that I can. Um, and if it's not through me, you know, hopefully the conversation itself was useful to help explore through questions of how can I begin to, what, what commitments do I need to shift? Who do I need to become to make, begin to make these changes? Because goodness, life does not make that easy. Um, what a cool story. And I share all this too, to share our process, the process of this is why we have this in place. This is why I don't just, you know, send people into classes. To me, that's without getting to know them, that, that misses out on all this part here. I like to get beneath the surface. Now I have the true importance of, say she does start with me, I want her to feel comfortable in her body, whatever that means for her, you know, whatever that means for her. And I'm, I'm gonna serve that person should she enlist my help. That's what I connect to. Um, backing up this, I reach out. And then from there, there's this filtration interview process where you're a fit, let's go to the next step consultation. You're not a fit, can I refer you to somewhere that's better? Because um, most people just reach out price curious, and I understand that. Can I afford this? Um, they're really committed, jump right to maybe booking a consultation, um, and that's where we interview and kind of do this in person. Uh, and then we, if it's a fit, we go, we go forward. Um, and if it's not, you know, these, these folks still stay in a communication pipeline of maybe receiving some information uh, that can be helpful and maybe that serves them. Um, I understand that we are not for everybody and I can't help everybody and I want to put those energies into helping the right people um, and continue to nurture and build something really beautiful at our establishment role at CrossFit. 
Um, and that's part of why this process is in place too, you know? So I hope there were, was something beautiful to take away from this um, share of a conversation with someone inquiring about getting started and the whole process. And uh, that's very, very normal is a very normal process that I'll go through multiple times a week with people, whether it's a phone call or, you know, a text or in person. Um, and then from there, again, should they begin, it's a shift into commitment, it's a shift into commitment to yourself. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoying this, uh, this video that we put together.